Hello again boys and girls, as you know my name is Delmo and I'm a mythology teacher from Romania, the land of vampires and nowadays werewolves. I want to share with you the stories and beliefs of my motherland. Romania's folk tales remind us of a time out of mind when heroes brought order to chaos, when the dark forest still withheld its secrets and there were simple fables to answer the world's ultimate questions. Stories are still being passed down through the generations, but they are dissolving in our fast-paced modern age, where people don't have the time nor interest in listening and letting their imagination unfold. The world has moved on, but sometimes when you hear the wolves howl at night or feel a cold wind brush your skin, sending shivers down your neck, your soul remembers. The stories, the dark myths and legends began deep within the wide forest of Romania, a country that was once harsh and full of mysteries. Natural disasters, disease, wild animals and war always fell too close to home and threatened to decimate the lives of the Romanian folk. Seemingly powerless against these terrible forces, the Romanian people created tales of monsters and heroes to give them hope and understanding. Earthquakes, for example, occurred only because your lack of faith erodes the pillars that hold up the world. It was a vicious prickolich that killed your cattle and the blood-sucking strigoi that caused your mother to grow ill. Long ago, these superstitions were what helped the Romanian people dealt with the harshness of life as well as providing entertainment around a fire on a cold winter's night. All things begin and end with a story. But where to start? Genesis, the creation of the world. We have a lot of creation stories in Romanian folklore, from its ancient Indo-European roots with brother and non-brother to a Christianization of the tale involving God and his perpetual antagonist Satan. This is my own version of the Romanian creation story with elements taken from all. This is a tale of two friends, bored with the eternal waters of oblivion, who try to bring their talents together to build a world, ours. In the beginning of beginnings, before time and matter, there was a boundless ocean called Apa Sâmbete, the water of Saturday. For time out of mind, the ocean was as still as a mirror, until a ripple appeared as if something was blowing on the surface of the primordial waters. The ocean chummed and bubbled with the waves, creating foam. From this foam suddenly sprouted a tree of massive proportions. Crawling on the tree's branches was a single butterfly and a lone worm. The butterfly shed its wings and transformed into a beautiful, shining boy, lighting up the blackness around him. As if to mimic the other, the worm also wriggled and writhed until it had shed its body, revealing yet another boy clouded with darkness. Oh brother! The second boy exclaimed with joy and moved to embrace him, but the first boy grimly shook his head. You are not my brother, for I can have no equal. I shall call you non-brother. Together, the brother and non-brother, or furtat and nefurtat in Romanian language, took it upon themselves to create the world. Furtat asked nefurtat to dive down into Apa Sâmbete and retrieve sand from the bottom of the sea, for he could not swim. Three times Nun Brother descended only to have the earth slip from his fingers. The third time that Nun Brother failed, Brother told him to clean the mud from under his fingernails and from that 
he would create the land. Furtat molded an island under the branches of the cosmic tree and lay down to rest. While Furtat slept, non brother saw his chance to get rid of his brother and create his own world. Knowing that Furtat could not swim, Nefertat tried to roll him into the sea to drown. Nefertat pushed his brother in every direction, but wherever Furtat was rolled, the land would appear beneath him. For a long time, Nefertat tried to drown his friend until land had spread to each corner of the world. When the brother awoke, he marveled at what the non-brother had done, but saw that the earth was much too big. Combining each other's strength, the two beings squeezed the earth, crossing the land, forming mountains and hills, lakes and swamps, until finally it was compressed into the perfect size. Then the two gods think they should build the sky to separate the waters above from the waters below, setting it upon the highest branches of the cosmic tree. Furtat embedded the stars, the moon and the sun like jewels in the sky. Due to a slight miscalculation, however, the sky was too heavy for the earth and the land began to sink into the waters. Non-brother quickly dove into the ocean and constructed four pillars, supported by four cosmic fish, to hold up the earth. Now that there was light shining down upon the world, the cosmic tree bloomed and bore fruit which brother and non-brother used to shape all manner of men and creatures that walk this earth. While Furtat created animals of beauty and practicality, Nefertat, with his wild imagination, experimented creating giants, shapeshifters and other strange beasts. In the beginning, everyone got along together in peace, but over time, evil step into the world from below and the troubles arose. So there you have it my friends, this is the creation story in the Romanian mythology. If you like this video please share and subscribe. I'm Delmo the mythology teacher and until the next time may the old and new gods bless you.